welcome back to ET Books. I'm your host of this episode, Chris George. Today we are talking about Madeline Lingle's A Wrinkle in Time, the trilogy. So this came to my attention, oddly enough, especially for what I consider to be a well-read person, when the movie came out a couple years ago. So I had heard of it, but I had never read it. Didn't know what it was about, didn't have a clue. Watched the movie, books are always better. Hadn't read the book yet, but it did pique my interest. So my, I picked up this book, which I now own. It includes A Wrinkle in Time, A Wind in the Door, and A Swiftly Tilting Planet. Apparently there's a quintet too, didn't know about that. This book is so interesting. Um, for someone who does not usually pick up fantasy or sci-fi, I was totally drawn into this. I mean, maybe I should read more sci-fi or fantasy. I don't know. So in this book, it gives a little map of the characters, and I don't want to take too long because of copyright, so I can't really show you much. But as you can see, the trilogy is huge. Um... But it's so worth it. And, and it's separated into these different stories. So you don't have to read it all at once. But this is about Meg and Charles Wallace and all the misses that cross their paths. And I am now fascinated by the idea of tesseracts. I mean, these kids, they travel through time and they're on a mission to save their father. And, I mean, you have the emotional part of it, and you have, you have where science meets fiction, and, and it all blends together and turns into something fantastical. And you can't help but wonder, which most people have wondered before, but once again, in the midst of this, you can't help but wonder, could it happen? Is it possible? Can we cross dimensions? Anyway, this book grabbed my attention like the never-ending story did back when it came out. I know that was decades ago, right? Like I found that story fascinating even though I didn't watch fantasy or read fantasy then much either or at all then. Maybe that's why I find them so fascinating because I don't give myself to these kinds of books. But anyway, so, like I said, this novel explores the fine line between science and fiction, and it is definitely worth your time, even if you just read the first one, A Wrinkle in Time. But I tell you what, after you read that, you're going to want to read the other two, I promise you. And now that I know there's a quintet, well, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to go find the other books, but I'm going to have to reread this so I'm up to date. Anyway. That's my review on A Wrinkle in Time. It is worth your time. Thumbs up from me. And make sure and give me a thumbs up if you have read it and you like it. If you've read it and don't like it, tell me why in the comments. Maybe it's just not your cup of tea. Also leave me a comment if you want to know about more of these types of books. If you can recommend some that would fascinate me as much as this does, or The Never Ending Story as well. So I look forward to hearing from you. Until next week, happy reading. Bye.